Good morning students. Let's come back to our biology class. Today we are going to learn the structure of a maize seed. A maize seed is a monocotyledonous seed. We can call it as a maize grain because its fruit fall is fused with the seed coat. That's why we are calling maize seed as a maize grain. So listen, why we are calling maize seed as a maize grain? Because its fruit wall, what is the fruit wall of maize grain? We can call it as pericarp. Pericarp is fused with the seed coat. Seed coat otherwise we can call it as testa okay when testa and pericarp fused together that's why we are calling it as a maize grain it consists of the following parts first part pericarp alluron layer endosperm scutellum coleoptile gemmule hypocotyl radical coleorysa and hilum Last one is epithelial layer. Okay, all these are the parts of a maize seed or maize grain. We can learn each part in a detailed way. First part of the maize grain we can take as pericarp. It is the outer part of the seed. And we can call it as a seed coat formed by the fusion of the pericarp and seed coat. Normally we are calling this is the outer outer part of the maize seed we are calling as the seed coat. The seed coat is fused form of pericarp and that is seed, seed coat. Okay. Second part we can call it as endosperm. Okay. What is endosperm? It is the major portion of what? Maize seed. It is the major portion of the maize seed or maize grain with the stored food. What is present inside the endosperm? Stored food present inside the endosperm. It is differentiated into outer alluron layer. Outer layer of the endosperm we can call it as alluron layer. Okay, this is alluron layer. It is a proteinous layer and inner endosperm rich starch okay this is the endosperm rich starch layer okay so these are the differentiation of endosperm region endosperm is separated from the embryo by a layer so that layer we can call it as epithelial layer what is epithelial layer? It is the layer which separates endosperm and embryo. Okay, endosperm and embryo are separated by a thin layer. That thin layer we can call it as epithelial layer. Next we can learn about embryo. This is we can call it as embryo. It is differentiated into scutellum and embryonal axis okay embryo is differentiated into scutellum and embryonal axis first we can learn about scutellum what is a scutellum it is a shield shaped single cotyledon this cotyledon of the maize grain we can call it as the scutellum okay it does not store food but serves to transfer food from endosperm to growing embryo. What is the role of scutellum? It does not store any type of food, but only it do the function. What is that function? It transfer the food from where? From the endosperm to the growing embryo during the germination. Okay, that is the role of scutellum. Next we can learn plumule. 
upper part of the embryonal axis is called as plumule okay this is not a gemmule plumule okay actually this plumule is known as the future shoot okay from this plumule only what is arising future shoot arising okay then plumule consists of number of young leaves these are the plumules okay it consists of number of young leaves and these are protected by a sheath that is sheath we can call it as coleoptile what is a coleoptile it is a protective sheath what is the role of this sheath it protect the young leaves of that plumule okay next below the embryonal axis this is the embryonal axis below this embryonal axis what is present radical is present what is radical radical is known as the future root from the radical only root arises okay next this root all already consists of root cap so the protective sheath of root cap of radical we can call it as coleo rice what is a coleo rice it is also a protective sheath it is protecting root cap of radical or radical and root caps are protected by this sheath what is that sheath coleo rice next last part we can call it as hilum it is a scar present on the maize grain that is scar we can call it as hilum so all these are the parts of a maize grain or a maize seed what are the parts pericarp or uh, seed coat alluron layer endosperm hilum scutellum coleoptile plumule hypocotyl radical coleorhiza and total embryo okay all these are the parts of a maize seed or maize grain is it clear next we can learn the structure of a bean seed bean seed is a dicotyledonous and non endospermic seed why we are calling bean seed as a dicotyledonous seed because it consists of two cotyledon that's why we are calling it as a dicotyledonous what is cotyledon means seed leaves we can called as the cotyledon okay so in a bean seed there are two cotyledon so we can call it as a dicotyledonous and non endospermic seed what is non endospermic means endosperm is absent what is endosperm it is the stored food region of the seed we can called as endosperm so this stored food region is absent where in bean seed so we can called it as a non endospermic seed and next it is kidney shaped what is the shape of bean seed kidney shaped in nature and brownish in color brown in color okay so these are the definition of a bean seed actually it is a dicotyledonous and non endospermic kidney shaped and brownish seed its concave side is darker in color and on this darker color region we can see a whitish scar that whitish scar we can called as hilum so what is a hilum actually hilum is the whitish scar present on the darker concave region of the bean seed at the one end of this hilum we can see a small opening that small opening we can called as micro 
pile actually micro pile is the opening present at the one end of the hilum okay next we can learn about seed coat what is a seed coat it is the outer protective hard covering of the bean seed what is a seed coat it is the outer protective hard covering of the seed we can call it as seed coat it consists of two layer outer tough layer we can call it as testa inner thin layer we can call it as tegmen so testa and tegmen are the part of seed coat what is testa it is the outer toughest layer of the seed coat and tegmen is the inner thin layer of the seed coat next two massive cotyledon arises from the embryonal axis one end of the embryonal axis we can called as the plumule region and other end of the embryonal axis we can called as the radical okay so radical and plumule radical we can see below the embryonal yeah. axis and plumule we can see above the embryonal axis what is radical radical we can called as the future root whereas plumule we can called as the future shoot so this two cotyledon consist of what radical and plumule actually two massive cotyledon from where it is arising from the embryonal axis it is arising one end of end of the embryonal axis we can see that plumule we can call it as a future shoot and other end we can call it as the radical it is known as the future root okay next epicotyl and hypocotyl what is epicotyl and hypocotyl first we can learn about epi cotyl it is the part of a seedling or the seed the point along the embryonic shoot just above the cotyledon actually it is the part of the seed the point along the embryonic shoot okay which is seen above the cotyledon this is the cotyledon so above this cotyledon we can see what a embryonic shoot okay that part we are calling as the epicotyl next hypocotyl means it is the stem of a germinating seed below the cotyledon so below the cotyledon what we can see uh, embryonic stem that uh, stem we can called as the hypo cotyl so epicotyl and hypocotyl are the parts of this seed okay epicotyl we can see above the cotyledon whereas hypocotyl we can see below the cotyledon so once again we can discuss the following parts a bean seed consists of seed coat radical plumule epicotyl hypocotyl embryo and cotyledon all these are the parts of bean seed okay what is a bean seed it is a dicotyledonous and non endospermic seed shape kidney shaped and color brown in color okay and on the concave side of the bean seed we can see a whitish scar that we can called as hilum the one end of the hilum we can see a small opening that we can called as the micro pile function of micro 
micropyle during germination water will enter inside the seed through this micropyle only okay or water can enter inside the seed through this micropyle when during the germination of the seed okay next point it consists of radical and plumule what is a radical future root we can called as radical and future shoot we can called as plumule next epicotyl and hypocotyl the part of the seed which present above the cotyledon we can called as epicotyl and the part of the seed which we can see below the cotyledon we can called as the hypocotyl okay so all these are the points regarding bean seed i hope all of you understood the points clearly i will come with a new video in the next session till then bye thank you